Hey guys, Praveen here and today I want to talk about how I use tailwind variables in Figma. So if you see the local variables in this file, I'll just expand this a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So here I have all the tailwind variables here. So it this has radius, border width, opacity, blur, skew, but uh, skew is not used anywhere right now. Breakpoints, containers, spacing, all the spacing variables font which has font size font family font style font weight font tracking and leading and also all the colors so starts with gray slate zinc everything so this consists of all the tailwind variables so tailwind variables here is just all the variables that um, comes with a tailwind design system so tailwind design system if you don't know tailwind css is like um, um, api for your um, for css so it has lots of um, good defaults good design system defaults everywhere so for colors for breakpoints for spacing especially for space spacing i use um, the spacing for everywhere it's a good it's a good four point system which is uh, amazing so yeah so these are all from um, Stevens uh, design system and here I have like a showcase of all the colors uh, showcase of all the border radius so this is very uh, very good for like uh, web apps uh, even some mobile apps have designed with Tailwind and uh, with React Native we can design, you know, we can use Tailwind for everything basically. And uh, yeah, so this has some good border sh uh, sh box shadows, uh, blurs, backdrop blurs, pasties and lots of uh, text um, styles. So text styles is not in variables, it's in text styles. It's a, it's a separate thing so for example if i select this text access thin style that has all the variables inside them so the variables get together with all these properties makes one text style like this one so yeah and we have uh, i have some avatars just to you know quickly add some avatars and all the shadow effects from tailwind blurs from tailwind backdrop of blurs from tailwind and max widths from uh, tailwind design system so all this max width and everything comes from um, the tailwind design system even this big break one style and thing. so i have this collection so i and for all the pro web projects i use i use um, this design system only it is very easy to use it has lots of um, uh, good defaults as i said so i use this design system for all my um, projects and you can easily copy this system if you go to my page i'll leave this link below we have this tailwind v4 design system file so you can come in duplicate this and try it for yourself or, or we also have this uh, minor ui so minor ui is a combination of tailwind css and shad cn ui so it has like components and drop downs and things like that so and some uh, ui block components also so yeah this is mostly used for like if you want uh, shad c anyway on top of tailwind if you want some components on top of tailwind yeah i'll leave this link below you can go and duplicate uh, this minor ui file or this uh, raw tailwind ui uh, tailwind css design system file also and instantly you'll have a good design systems to start your projects with so i highly recommend for all your projects just start with this design system and you can extend it you can update it but uh, you know this is this is a good uh, starting point for your everything yeah i uh, hope this video is helpful the link is in the description bye bye